Hey, what's happening everybody? So today I got a camera up for an unboxing interview. This is the Canon HF R800 camcorder. Now this video is currently being filmed with the HF R700, the older model. Now the reason I got a new camera is because there's a big scratch in the middle of my lens. You might be able to see a little bit of a glare in somewhere in this area here. And that's because there's a big scratch and there's nothing I can do about it. So I guess it's just time for a new camera. So this was what I chose. And I think if you're a YouTuber and you're looking for a camera that's, you know, like under $300, that's going to give you really good quality and really easy to work with, um, this is definitely the way to go. You don't need any, you know, additional mics. You don't, you don't really need anything at all except the camera. It auto-focuses. All the auto features just work great. It makes it very simple. And so, yeah, let's just unbox this thing, and I'll show you guys what made me decide to buy this camera. Okay, guys, here is the box, you know. Nice Canon box, pretty much what all their cameras come in. Um, here's some of the features. But, yeah, I believe it's pretty pretty much the same as the last the last model, the HFR 700. Uh, I think they cleaned up, like, the autofocus and made it a little faster and everything. But, I mean, it still shoots the same. Um, 35 megabytes a second in um, 1080p, um, 60 frames a second, no problem. So, yeah, I usually shoot, like, I'm shooting this right now in 1080 frames a second. Or sorry, 1080, 1080p with 60 frames a second. Uh, shooting in MP4. You can shoot in MP4 or AVC HD. Now, the reason why I think that is great is because most YouTube videos are uploaded at MP4. So, you want a camera that's already shooting in the, in the format that you're going to be uploading it to because, one, by not changing the format at all, it, it makes the quality you know, a little better, and then it's a lot less time consuming. It takes a lot longer to export a video or render or whatever you want to call it if you're, you know, got to convert the file in the process. So the fact that it's shooting at the high quality in MP4 already, and I, you know, I just load it into Sony Vegas and pops right up, you know, it works great. Here is the instruction manual. Um, I'm not going to go over that, but a lot of, ever, you know, a lot of stuff. Um, if you, you know, you should always read through these things, and they give you a a little memo pad in the back to take notes <laughs> but yeah and here is the box and oh okay so we got just uh connected to the computer regular you know standard usb we got the battery the lithium ion battery now the, these batteries last really long the last one was like i would get like two and a half hours when the camera was new the camera that i'm shooting on right now that's what i'm talking about and it's it's like a year old now and it's still getting like close to two hours of charge so that's really good um charger um this is my only one of my only gripes about this camera is the the way this charger fits in and uh i'll show you that in a minute why but other than that the charge is really nice it doesn't get hot or anything um cord to hdmi cord to plug it into your computer or straight into your tv The camera itself now i love how it is like matte black with a slight like shimmer to it but yeah the screen on these is just awesome it spins all the way around so if you're vlogging you can have it you know on your gorilla pod or whatever and you know just hold it like this and it works great now the lens cap there's a switch right here and this is actually how my camera got messed up like every time i would have people film for me they would always open it with their finger and just push it. Like, you can push it down and open it, but every time you do that, you're gonna be, you, there's a chance you can push, there's two things. You could either scratch it with your fingernail, or you could actually push that too hard, and ha that'll rub against the lens. And that's what mine is from. Like, by the, the one on here, from the direction it is, you can tell it was from the door. And uh, yeah, I just let all sorts of people use my camera. Sometimes I have people from, for me. Sometimes I do stuff with work at the jujitsu tournaments and stuff. And all different people are filming with my camera. And uh, I'm just gonna be, have to be more careful. And things like that, I'm gonna start just using this camera as my backup. And then this is gonna be my main camera that I don't really let anyone touch. Uh, even though this is pretty cheap and you know, and everything. So there, uh, it does come with a one year manufacturer warranty. Um, just basically just don't get it wet or don't sh don't shatter it and they'll you know they'll fix it for you no problem um, I could have bought an extended warranty through Amazon but the way I see it is like in two years or whatever I would just want to get another camera anyways but yeah so the battery you know it pops right on you know powers right up it comes with a you're probably not gonna be able to see any of this uh, 
charge the battery, blah, blah, blah. There's no memory card in there. Okay, so the battery doesn't have enough juice in it right now, but yeah, the, the menus are really nice. So let me plug it in and I'll be right back. Okay, so I went inside because it's not so bright and you'll be able to actually see the screen. Okay, so, you know, basic tripod mount, you know, nothing to it. But here is one of the, my gripes about this is, this is the, this is the charging port. And the way this cord is, it's like, and this one actually fits better than the last one, but I think it's because the camera's brand new. The, after like a year or so, these will just like, it, it's really hard to get it to stay in. And I wish it was, a, you know, a little more solid connection. Like, this one feels pretty good, like... Yeah, I mean, this one definitely stays in better than my other one. But yeah, just know that as the camera gets older, you might have to, you know, just... It's like I gotta, when I plug it in, I gotta double check that it's actually charging usually. But um, here is the... Where you're gonna put in the memory card. Okay, right here. So super simple, right? Boom, boom. And we're in. Okay, now, we're gonna uh, full setup here. Okay, so we're gonna pick English because I speak English. Uh, month, date, year. Yeah, we'll do it like that. Okay, so what is today? Today is July twenty fourth. Twenty seventeen is four thirty two. Four. Sorry, this is really boring, I'm sure. I go, I'll go a little faster, hold down. My fat fingers, it's hard to keep it. But yeah, it is nice that it has a, you know, actually has a touch screen. You know, most of these cameras, most of these cameras don't even have like a screen. And, uh, oh damn, too far. Okay. Or that it won't turn, like a lot of DSLRs don't even, uh, like have, at least cheap ones, don't have it where... I gotta go, what, what the hell? I gotta do the hour, still goes to PM. Yeah, there we go. Okay, cool. Setup complete. Okay, cool. Okay, so, once again, open it like this. Once you open it, you'll be able to see. I got a, a, zip, a little twisted tie here. I got, uh, I got my, Got my remote here, so yeah, it works really good. So you can navigate through the menu, you hit the home, and then here we can change all our settings. So we're gonna go into here, uh, or here first, the video quality. And I want it on max, so I want the 35 megabytes a second, 60p. There's all the. So we're gonna go with that one. That is what you want, especially for YouTube. Uh, okay, do I get it? Okay, so that's what I want on there. And then. I want to use auto shooting mode. There is a lot of shooting modes. Like you can, okay, there's a highest priority to achieve a more natural tone gradient. Grad ah, okay, to achieve a more natural tone gradation for bright subjects, use brighter settings on a TV to enjoy more details in the image. Or there's cinema mode, you know, makes it more cinematic looking. Um, scene, this is for like, you know, different scenarios. Um, it affects it, you know. And programmed. That's like if you want to customize it. But the auto on this thing is freaking amazing. Like if you're, you're shooting in low light, it adjusts it. If you're shooting in bright light, it adjusts it. Like everything always looks really good. Um, main functions. Let's see. Okay, I think that all looks good. But yeah, you can just do slow motion on here. You can do all sorts of stuff. You can film in slow motion over there. Okay, so uh, so then when you need to. Like format your SD card too, you can do it directly on here, right there, initialize. Um, firmware 1.0, I'm gonna plug it into my computer and make sure I got the right firmware on it, but you know, that's very, very simple. You basically just plug it into your computer, it starts to do it by itself. But yeah, everything looks pretty good. And that's why, the main reason why I think this camera is so good is just because it's just like out of the box, boom, it's ready to go, let's, let's film a YouTube video. Um, you want to have it filming on you, you know, you just, oh crap, you know, you can flip it around, see, filming itself, okay, notice, see if you can see the reflection, whoa, 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 I got a windscreen on the front, here's where the microphone is, okay, and all I did was I, 
I caught a stuffed animal in a claw machine and I cut off a little piece of fur and I put hot glue around it but made sure not to get any on those holes and I just stuck it on there. And then that works as an amazing windscreen because you will get a little wind noise with this camera, you just a little bit, but not too bad. But I just love the fit, the finish to the whole thing. Here, it's got 52 times zoom. So, yeah, and this is the optical image stabilizer. There was um, that on the one I'm shooting on now as well, but yeah, um, there's 32 times optical zoom. I mean, yeah, but yeah, and then to like get into your gallery to check what's on your SD card, you hit that. You know, here's some like random from like a YouTube video I just filmed, a skate, uh, electric skateboard YouTube video. But yeah, so, so you know, if you have stuff on your card, you can, you know, and then just go right back with that. Here, if you want to add a mic, you can add a mic. Here's your AV out, um, HDMI out, USB. So very, very simple. Once again, tripod mount. So I know it's going to be pretty much the exact same thing because I'm filming with the other camera right now, but uh, I'm going to switch it anyways, and I'm just going to do a little, uh, you know, a little yo-yoing so you can see how it handles like fast paced stuff. One thing about this is like it, this camera, like it's, it, it like focuses it on stuff like super fast. Like watch, if I come in close, you'll be able to read like the numbers on these like right away. Or not right away, but you see like it really quick, like in a matter of, and then see, it focuses back. Focuses. And this is the older model. Like this is like the two year old model. So if this one does it this good, you know this one is going to be. And then, you know, all you got to do when you're done filming, pop this out, put it in your computer, and boom, there's your YouTube video. You got all the files, and you can edit them like that. I, like, I have a Galaxy S8 phone, and I know I could film with that, but I, I honestly think this is way easier. Just, oh, boom, there's my card, boom, put it in my computer, done. Like, then plug in my phone into my, I don't know. It's, I'm sure it's, it, it's just way easier to find the files and way easier in general. Maybe I'm just old, but I don't know. But yeah, I don't really see the point in a DSLR if you're a small YouTube, like, maybe if you're, like, a giant YouTuber and you need all these special features, but like really, this is all you need. This is the only camera that you, I mean, and really, it's not that expensive. It's under three hundred dollars. Like anybody could afford that. You could save your money and afford that, or you know, get a job and afford that, or whatever. I don't know, but yeah. So let's go outside and I'll shoot a couple things with this camera. Okay, so we plugged in an SD card, and just like that, we're on the new camera. It's going, and here's the old one. So that's what I'm going to be making for this camera, something similar to that uh, to just protect the, from the wind noise. But, yeah, it's, it's just the easiest camcorder, and it takes great pictures as well if you want to take pictures. But just how it's so easy to take the SD card out, you know, plop it into your computer, and it's just ready to go. And, you know, for fast-moving objects and just going enclosed and far away, it just focuses really well all by itself and a lot of times you know if you don't have a cameraman it's a very easy camera to work on a tripod it mounts to any tripod great so yeah I think if you're in the market for a new camera um, or your first camera maybe you're either a YouTube channel or maybe you just want you know something easy to take on your trips that's easy to take the files on and off of the shoots an mp4 in very high quality well then this is a camera for you so this is not uh, endorsed at all I've just liked this camera and I've had the last three I got the 600 the 700 now I got the 800 so thought might as well make a little video of it because I really like this camera and to me this is a good purchase so hope you guys like the video if not I'm sorry I tried my best I'll see you later